Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. Welcome to another monthly reset. The last time I did one of these was my September reset. So it's been about a month since I have came on here and just reset for the month and shared my goals with you guys. If you have been here for a while, we did move in September. So the whole month of September, I didn't really set any goals for myself just because I knew it was gonna be a super intense month. I didn't wanna to put too much pressure on myself in trying to set all these goals that I probably weren't gonna be able to achieve because we were moving and moving is hectic. And then for October, I set goals for myself. I just didn't make a video. We'll go over those and then also set my November goals as well. I cannot believe it is November already. I feel like we just started 2022 and here we are already finishing it. Just a quick disclaimer. This is the only camera battery that I currently have right now. I just spent about 20 minutes looking for my spare camera battery, so I'm not sure if this battery is fully charged or how long it'll last me. If this camera dies, I will record on my phone just so I can get this video up for you guys. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into my October goals. So starting with socials, I'm pretty sure I didn't post eight times. Not gonna lie, I kind of fell off in the month of October. I don't think I really posted at all. Yeah. I only posted twice this month, so that really sucks. It definitely was not my intention, obviously, to not post, but this month got away from me. But I did post every day on TikTok. I think, honestly, why I couldn't post on YouTube was because I was posting on TikTok, and it's kind of hard to juggle both. Although TikToks are very, like, short and they're not as long as YouTube videos, I spent a lot of my time planning TikToks and filming a lot of the TikToks that I was making, so it took my attention elsewhere. I want to move to more like three times a week or maybe four times a week because every day was kind of intense. I want to find a better balance for that for November. Uh, personal finish a book. I did not. No phone after 10 p.m. I did. Self-care day once a week. No. So this month, it starts with us came out and I paused reading the book that I was reading. I think I was, I think I was reading um, One True Loves, I believe it was. So I paused reading that book and started It Starts With Us. Truthfully, I haven't had really any time to just sit down to myself and read. We've been so busy and like on the go every day since we moved in. Haven't been able to have time to read, but it's something I want to try really hard to do for November. And then self-care day once a week. Again, like I said, we've just been busy, so I haven't had time. But I have a really nice bathtub now, so I want to try and put effort into that. Health and fitness workout two times a week. I don't know if it was like every week, Sometimes it was twice, sometimes it was once, but I definitely did work out a lot more this month because I'm starting a home gym, which I plan to do a whole video on that, so you guys will see that later on, but yeah, it's a lot easier to work out now. Protein shake three times a week. I've had it consistently. I don't know if it's three times a week though, so I'll give myself like a half check mark for that one. And then financials have a specific amount in my savings. I did, I actually just got paid yesterday. So that was nice because I was able to hit that goal last minute, but I still hit it. Um, no retail spending this month. I did so good up until probably the last week of... Actually, did I spend money on like retail stuff? I might have not spent money. I know I didn't do any shopping. I know I bought some stuff on Amazon, but I don't know if it's really retail. I shouldn't make excuses. I feel like if I buy anything that's not something I need, it's retail. And I definitely did that, so... I did get up until the last week of this month and then I, yeah, and I just fell off. I won't give myself that one just to stay true to myself and then follow my budget and expense tracker all month. I did do that. I'm staying on track with that, which I love. That's been a consistent goal, I believe, every month on my goal list. So that was all my October goals. That was pretty quick. Moving on to the reflections. You guys know I always struggle with these reflection questions. I'm gonna try to answer these ones better than I have in the past. I took away that one question of like things I wanna learn. I don't remember what question it was, but I took it away because I that, that question always stumped me and I never answered it. So anyways, the one word or phrase to describe this month. Um, I think this month was very challenging. Definitely feel like I was going through some sort of like shift or change this month. It was just was a weird, very weird month. I, I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'll probably talk about it in another video, but it's definitely very challenging and adjusting for this month. It was just a weird month. <laughs> Memorable moment. I always have to look back at my pictures to see what pictures I took this past month to remind myself like what I did because I never can remember at the end of the month. I hit my TikTok follower goal that I think I set myself 
in September, which is over 500. So that was really exciting. And also my job had a Halloween party. Since I've been working at home, I haven't seen like any of my coworkers anymore. And so it was really fun to get out of the house and go hang out with my coworker friends. And then things I want to improve. So lots of things I want to improve. I want to improve my morning and night routine. All of October, I completely fell off on both of my routines. And I think that affected my mood a lot because when I'm off my routine, I'm just, off my game completely. Definitely want to improve my routine. I want to improve my procrastination. I feel like a broken record. Everyone deals with procrastination, but it's been really heavy on my mind lately. I am a very bad procrastinator and I do it to myself. So that's something I want to improve for sure. The last thing I'll put is self-love. Definitely was a lot more mean to myself this month, but definitely wanted to improve my self-love and self-care. So that was October. I haven't made my template yet for November. So I'm gonna pause this really quick. I'm gonna set up my template, write out my goals, and I will be back and we will talk about my November goals and also my October favorites. We're back. I went ahead and did all of my November goals, set up my template. So let's go ahead and get into it. For my social goals for November, I want to post three times a week on TikTok like we talked about post weekly on YouTube. Realistically, I would love to post twice a week, but I have to figure out like a better routine and I just don't know what to post anymore. Honestly, I feel like I was on such a high with like the moving vlogs and now that I'm going back to regular life, I'm like, what do I, what do I post? So weekly on YouTube, bonus points that I can do twice a week some week. 600 on TikTok, which I probably should up because I don't know where I'm at right now, but I might change that. And then Possibly 1400 on YouTube. That would be really exciting. I try not to focus too much on the numbers because Although it's like really fun to watch yourself grow and it's super exciting It can be kind of negative on your mental So I try not to focus too much on it and put too much stress on myself But I feel like as long as I'm posting consistently and engaging I will grow just to give myself that extra motivation to post I'm gonna set myself some goals for numbers for personal, I want to finish It Starts With Us, get back on a solid morning and night routine. I don't really have an idea of what I want my morning routine to look like right now. I've been working out at night lately, which is so unlike me, but I'm enjoying it right now, so I'm gonna take advantage of this moment where I'm enjoying night routine and night workouts. So my morning is gonna look a lot different now that I don't work out in the morning. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do in the mornings and how I wanna structure my morning routine. I wanna get that down solid and then night routine, gym, washing my face, you know, flossing every night, and I don't know, reading, whatever I decide to do at night. And then start using my habit tracker again. I think about two months ago, I mentioned a habit tracker app that I had started using, and I was doing really well, and then I just fell off like everything else. But I wanna start using that app again. I feel like it helped me, and it motivated me to like, keep up with my habits. I got excited to like check off something that I did that day. So I want to start using that again. I think that'll really help me just stick on my routine and stick to a schedule every day. For health and fitness, I want to work out three to four times a week, whether that's at home at my home gym or at an actual gym. One of the perks of moving back closer to my parents, my dad pays for a gym membership for the whole family. So I get to have free access to a gym. So it's really nice. Thanks dad. <laughs> Um, I want to track my calories all month. I have been doing this for the whole month of October, which is really, really good for me. I'm trying to like slowly up my calories week by week and just listen to my body more and not put too much pressure on myself and then have my daily protein shakes just because it'll help me get my protein goal a lot faster whereas if I didn't have a protein shake. So I really want to push myself this month. Um, I was watching another YouTube video. Her name is Janet Domahina, I think her last name is. I'm probably butchering that. I'm so sorry. But she mentioned that like she had to realize that she wasn't being as hard on herself as she probably should be with the gym and her personal goals. And I could not agree more and relate to something so much because I'm not hard on myself at all. Like yeah, discipline, blah, 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 motivation. But when it comes down to it, I let myself just sit around and not go to the gym. And there's a difference with like laziness and actually needing a rest day. And I'm more on the laziness side. So I wanna start being hard on myself, specifically my health and fitness goals, because they're super important to me. In case anyone else needed that reminder, just you gotta be harder on yourself. I felt like that helped me kind of have a realization that I'm not hard on myself at all and I need to do better. The last category is finding financials. Again, per usual, have a specific amount in my savings, no retail spending, and limit fast food and restaurants. I'm really going to try 
really hard to go the whole month without retail spending. I know this month is Black Friday and I already made the decision that I'm probably not going to shop for Black Friday. One, I don't need anything and two, I can't afford it right now. Moving was expensive and we're still getting through it so I don't need anything. I'll be okay. It's going to suck because I really wanted to go shopping but it's okay. We're going to deal with it. And then limit fast food in restaurants. I need to cook at home more just to limit spending in general, but there are some days where I don't feel like cooking and I wanna go out to eat. So as I said, limit and not cut it out completely. <laughs> but those are all my goals for November. Let's move on into the last category of these videos is my monthly favorites and things that I have been loving for the whole month of October. My favorites this month are definitely very random things, but I still wanted to share with you guys in case you guys have been looking for any of these products. So first thing I'm gonna start off is this Mayel Organics curl smoothie it's in the pomegranate and honey scent but i recently took my hair down and tried to do the whole natural hair thing it didn't last very long but i wanted to get a bunch of new products to use for my natural hair and i saw a lot of good things about this product specifically for 4c hair which is the hair type that i have very kinky curly tight curls also very thick curls <laughs> But I got this and it is so nice. It gives my curls like the perfect definition that I've always like desired having. It smells amazing and it goes into my hair very, very well. I believe I have high porosity hair where my hair doesn't hold product very well and moisture very well. Don't quote me, but I think that's how it goes. But yeah, this stuff is like crack. I love it. My hair has never really had like really defined curls but this gives me like the perfect curl pattern. The next thing is my new Ninja blender. This thing is amazing. I have never had a better blender ever and I've gone through a lot of Ninja blenders as well as a Nutribullet and I have had one more blender, but this one is the best one that I've had in a very, very long time. So it comes with three different cups. I have two of like a bigger size and then I also have a smaller one. It comes with two or three of these little tops where you can drink out of it. And also this one has like this twisty method where if something gets caught, you can just twist it around and it'll push all the fruit to the bottom. This is specifically made for the smoothie bowl option, which is the next thing I was gonna say. The features that this blender has is extract, smoothie, sauce, and bowl. I haven't made a bowl yet. I usually make acai bowls. I haven't made them, but I just bought some acai packs, so I'll probably make a bowl one of these days. I'll let you guys know how it is, uh, but based on the videos, it looked like it would be a really good idea. I made my protein shakes in here, though, and some smoothies, and it's like perfect. Perfect texture, not too watery, not too thick. It's just perfect. Extract, I don't really know what that means, but it's under the drinkable section, so I assume it's some sort of drink. Maybe it's a lot thinner than a smoothie, but I'm not sure. What I like about it is that you literally will press a button and it'll go on its own. And I think it'll start at like 60 seconds or 30 seconds, depending on what you click, and it'll just go on its own. And it does the whole thing for you, and it's so nice. I haven't had to take it out and shake it around or anything. It just does the whole thing for me. So I highly recommend getting this blender. It has been a game changer for sure. And I noticed that that blender is always on sale at Target, so I will try and see if it's on sale right now and link that for you guys. It's a good blender for its price. I think when I bought it, it was $89 on sale, so definitely pick that one up. Okay, last two things are also big items. I have my vinyl section over here, which I love. I talked about this in... I believe my last video when I was setting up my office, but it's just really nice to have my vinyl in my room and have them all on display and they have just a space for them. I think it looks really nice. Collecting vinyls, records, whatever they're called has been such a huge, oh my God, my camera's gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my phone really quick. <laughs> okay, so I switched to my phone. The whole setup is probably different, but anyways, um, I was almost done talking. I wish my camera would have lasted a little bit longer. I definitely need to find my camera battery because I can't film anything because my battery is dead. Okay, so yeah, anyways, I'll do that later. As I was saying, I really love having my vinyl record player on display in my room because at our last place, it was in the living room because we didn't have room in the office. And the last thing is my couch that I have in this room. I needed something to just like spice up this place and have 
somewhere where like my friends could sit or Lavelle could sit when he comes and hangs out with me random times through the day because we do have separate offices now so we're not next to each other all day so sometimes he'll come in and hang out with me in my room it's very comfortable too considering how inexpensive it was it's very comfortable it's also very soft it's like a felty maybe like fake sheep material i don't think felt is the right word but it feels it looks like a sheep so like a sheep like a sherpa maybe like a sherpa jacket i would say but yeah it's super nice i love it so much i think it was a perfect little addition to my room i do want to get like some cute pillows and maybe accent things to go next to it but that'll be way in the future that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy i know i haven't posted in a while but thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me i appreciate you guys as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already and let me know one of your november goals down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in my next one hopefully if i can find my camera battery <laughs> Now I'm thinking I might have caught the June blues, yeah.